This is Linda Lee with Ask Me PC Web Design and today we are talking about how to view source in your email so that you can check email, suspicious email you're getting without actually endangering yourself. So I have a lot of email that comes in every day because I have it all forwarding and I have a lot of websites. So I get to see the trends and the daily scams going on and it is quite a bit. I probably get minimum of 20 a day and I have my fil spam filter set on high but you know they're forever changing the way they're going to get into your email so um, let's start off with today's email we have DocuSign they have a warning on their website uh, if you google it DocuSign scam email and they are aware that this email is going out now it spoofs itself and it looks like it's actually coming from you it says you you know your emails the administrator that is a spoofed email address which means they cover up where it's really coming they fake it out and um, also dangerous on this one it comes with a PDF attachment supposedly when you open that you can quite possibly infect your computer it does have a virus attached that is the whole point the point of these viruses is to take over your computer to hack you I mean nothing good so the way you can check things out is first if it's suspicious just google it like I did so I did docu sign fake email and it took me straight to their website right here look they put an alert on their website and this happens with PayPal and any of your banking email and they're aware this is going and they say please do not open the attachment now a lot of people for some reason don't do that that's like the fastest way to check the email now the second thing you can do that I wanted to show you today is all you need to do is go up to view first you have to just click the actual message don't open it just click it in this, and this I'm gonna post how to do this on, and you're going to view message source. I'm going to put links on my article on how to do this for Gmail and Outlook Express. So those are the most common used ones. This is Thunderbird. So you just click message source and see all this gobbledygook? Well it's real easy. Just don't worry about all of that. Just scroll down and right here you can see and if you read this you're going to know this is fake. I mean your document's been completed and if you didn't ever use this website and you have no document you know this is fraudulent so right away you can do that let's look at a few other pretty common ones this Xerox work center seems to be popular recently that one's coming around quite a bit so I'm gonna click it view message source and here I can see it's from securebank.com that looks very suspicious never heard of them work center zero look at this this is bad news whenever you see all of this this is nothing but trouble there is crap buried in this email that you do not even want to unleash on yourself so you just want to definitely get rid of that here's another one these people global post and and please look can I send you new customers Ugh, that's just some spam email but let's take a look at this global post chatter never heard of them didn't sign up for it what the heck is it let's go take a look at that here we go it's just got stuff so you know what this went to one of my other website emails and this one actually looks legit because look if I open it I can unsubscribe so that's unusual so that one somehow they got me on their email and I should be able to unsubscribe but I don't know where they came from they bought an email list and they put me on it from one of my websites so that is not good but up here you can see we've got constant contact and they're legit so anyway I would be unsubscribing but I'll just delete them for now alright then we've got this one can I send you some new customers who's Mike who's Jay I don't know who these people are alright so I'm gonna view message source over here view message source and can I send some customers to you no thanks don't know you and you're gonna be hitting the garbage here's another one fake UPS notifications this is not how they come to you so let's go see what this one says oh you have a shipment coming da 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 okay I'm not sure about this this could be real I did order something so that one might be real but so many of these are fake that I wanna check it before I open it 
this invitation. Let's go see. Just I'm opening all of these for you to show you just the variety that you can get. Oh, we want you to join our professional community. No, thanks. You're going away. And then this one, whenever you get names with nothing, oh, that's definitely not good. Let's go look at that. And those are the likely ones you might open. Here we go. See that weird address right there? It's got a PHP file in it. That is an executable file you do not want to open. So this is all fraudulent. And look who's it from. Who are these people? They're using net zero for their email. So that is dangerous. And then this one. And then here's another one of the fake ones with no message. All right, let's view message source. Oop, that never looks good. See, there's that PHP file. Just so you know, if you ever see that, do not open it. Plus, the great thing is, is you can check if they're legit because you can see the message. Like, that actually turns out to be a real UPS notice that was sent to me. I've never heard of Quantum View, so that was a new company I ordered from. They're not called that. It was another company, but they must be using this for their notification system. Anyway, so these are all bad news. So these are all going in the garbage. I hope that helps you figure out how you can actually check emails that you find suspicious. Just view message source. All right, thanks.